Camreview.com. I'm here with another camera today. It's not such an oldie and, and not as old as certainly a, uh, any of the other cameras I reviewed, but this is a, a newer, older camera. This is the Canon Elon 7NE. Uh, this is basically Canon's last uh, <coughs> high-end consumer or prosumer level uh, film camera. This camera is, it was a technological tour de force, as they would say, uh, when Canon came out with it. It was really came out sort of when digital was really starting to, to break into the market, um, it was a uh, sort of the last hurrah, I think, for uh, for, for film cameras, uh, or certainly uh, Canon's uh, film cameras. Um, it, it, it had a lot of technological features. The media marine was great on it. Quick autofocus, um, and kind of the uh, sort of the cool feature that this camera was famous for was the was eye control focus. Uh, so basically, wherever you look. Uh, the camera would focus on that point and uh, it, you know some people had mixed reviews with it people with glasses had a little bit of trouble with it <clears throat> I personally really like it uh, it works well for me I haven't had any really problems with it <clears throat> it does excuse me it does have to be calibrated um, but once you calibrate it uh, it does work pretty well uh, I had this camera a number of years ago and unfortunately I, I had uh, sold it or I traded it in for a, a digital camera at the time, uh, but I always regretted getting rid of it. So I've uh, just recently picked this one up. It just came with a kit lens. Um, these cameras could be had very reasonably. I remember uh, when I first bought mine, they paid in the neighborhood of, I think it was like six or seven hundred dollars for it, and I picked this one up very cheaply, and it was in like new condition. I actually had the seven E. Uh, the 7 NE was uh, a little bit of an evolution uh, in the camera. Uh, mostly the changes that came with it were changes in the finish and um, some metering uh, uh, changes. Uh, but overall, it's pretty much identically the same. It's an identical camera uh, between the 7 E, 7 E, and the 7 NE. Um, this camera was available without the eye control, also. But I figured if you're going to buy the camera, you might as well get it with all the bells and whistles, even considering you know, how cheap the camera is right now, how much you can get it for. I'm seeing these in the neighborhood of, you know, $100. Uh, sometimes with a lens, sometimes without. This is a very cheap uh, kit lens with it. Uh, certainly no, uh, no great glass here. But uh, a nice thing about this camera is, is it does take uh, the, cam the uh, Canon autofocus lens, the EF lenses. Um, but it won't take uh, the lenses that have motion stabilization. So if you see those, I think it's the EF S lenses that uh, that it won't work with, uh, um, but uh, yeah, it won't won't work with those. So you're kind of out of luck with that. But you can get the newer, you know, any pretty much any uh, any good glass you you can get for this camera. Um, certainly the image stabilization won't work, like I said. So um, the camera has again a lot of nice features. It's the uh, uh, eye control focus, which is great. Uh, it has different focus controls. It has one one shot. I don't know if you can see it here. AI focus and servo. Um, so, uh, you know, th those focus modes are pretty fast. This is for the eye control to leave it off, uh, turn the eye control on, or you can calibrate it here. Um, Canon really laid out uh, everything on this camera very nicely. It, it, it is a, a nice setup. Um, if you uh, turn on the camera here, there's a, a backlight, and it's a blue backlight. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it really is kind of good looking. Uh, I do like that. There's uh, tons of programmable features on this camera. You can go through everything. You can do bracketing. You can do, you know, of course, exposure compensation. And that's all done through the uh, the menu system, and uh, it's you know pretty easy to get around. It's not. This is not a, uh, a real tough camera. There are some features in here which are more difficult to find, uh, but uh, you know you can uh, certainly work your way through that. Um, the one thing that this camera does not have is a spot focus. Uh, it has an evaluative uh, smaller focus area and it has like sort of a, a, a full focus uh, setup here. Uh, but uh, you're not going to find a, a real spot focus, um, which is kind of strange, but <laughs> I'm not sure why they didn't do that. Uh, it does have a, a single frame 
and then you can do a uh, multiple, you know, uh, high speed. That looks, sounds like to me about uh, three frames per second or so. Uh, I don't know the specs on it in particular, but uh, there is a, a hot shoe. You can use a TTL uh, a flash with it, and uh, it does uh, meter very nicely. Uh, the uh, the ergonomics on the camera are pretty much the same as most Canon cameras. Uh, here you can uh, make your uh, adjustments for uh, exposure compensation, or you can use the dial on the back. That's up to you. Um, it has have a lot of pre-programmed um, uh, functions on it. You can actually do depth of field bracketing on this, which is really nice. Um, and it has a full manual mode, aperture priority, shutter priority program, and then it has the green box mode, which of course you know is. Uh, just kind of put it on there and go. Portrait mode, uh, scenic, macro, sports, and uh, night shot. Um, it is a, a DX camera, so you don't have to worry about setting any uh, ISO settings, although you can go in and change that manually. Um, it has a uh, rewind button, so if you wanted to rewind the, uh, the film mid-roll, you can do that. On this camera, I actually have the battery grip. Uh, it's the battery back BP300. Again, the whole package, like I said, cost me around $100, but uh, it really makes the, the camera nice to hold in the hand. I have it in completely green mode, so the flash is an auto pop-up. Um, if you put it into program mode or aperture priority, of course, that uh, the flash won't come up. But uh, it's a very quiet camera. Um, it really is. It's not too noisy. It's very subtle. Uh, this is actually, like, if you want to get into film, want to play around with stuff, want to be able to have full manual control, get good glass, um, or have automation, it's up to you. This is a nice camera. I, uh, you know, it's, it's a film camera, so you know, your, your pictures are as good as your film, and your pictures are as good as your glass, and your pictures are as good as your talent, well, especially the talent. But if you're looking for a camera, you want to get in cheap, you want to get all the technological features, um, or you want to go fully manual, this is a great camera to do it with. Uh, it's highly underrated as far as, you know, in the used market, you see a lot of older cameras, you know, which are durable, certainly, and uh, you certainly have a nostalgic uh, feel to them. But uh, as far as just, like, getting the job done, this is a great camera. It has some bells and whistles, which are kind of fun to work with. It has a diopter, by the way, for uh, people with eyeglasses. But I, I, I can't see really needing any more than this for, for getting into film photography. Uh, again, it's really quiet. It's not a loud camera by any stretch of the imagination. Um, so, uh, you know, I, I would highly recommend this camera. I've taken some of my favorite pictures of all time with this camera. Um, some pictures I took years ago with my daughter. Uh, and uh, what, a, what a great camera. I really missed it. I'm glad I have it back. Um, again, you know, the pop-up flash, you can put it up manually if you want. Or it'll, again, you put it into full auto mode. And uh, it'll do whatever you need it through. Autofocus assist lamp, which is nice. <clears throat> There's a lot of stuff on the web as far as finding out the features of this. I would recommend looking further into it. Um, but uh, again, another one of these cameras, I, I, I highly recommend it. Um, I think it's a great camera. Uh, like I said, I got this one in like new condition, literally. Like it, I don't think it had ever been used. It was just pulled out of a, a bubble wrap bag. Um, and it doesn't look like it had ever been touched. <clears throat> and the... Uh, it's really lovely. It's just a neat camera. And uh, I, I can't imagine anybody would need any more, especially if you're just getting started in uh, film photography. You have access to all that great Canon glass. Although the lenses are a little bit more money <coughs> than if you were to go for a full manual camera and get the uh, Canon FD lenses. Um, you can easily transition your, uh, your lenses from this if you're like a uh, digital Canon shooter uh, and you want to take those digital, you know, the lenses from that uh, and put them on this camera, you can do that. So, um, once again, great camera, quiet. It's fairly light, too. It's really not a big, heavy camera. So if, you know, uh, you don't feel like lugging around a big monster, this is a good camera to do it. I put the battery grip on because I have big hands. Um, but the battery grip comes out very easily. But it makes it a much smaller camera. Um, so, you know, if you're looking for... I would say it's about the size of, you know, a digital Rebel, maybe a little bit bigger. Um, but uh, I personally really like having uh, the battery grip. I like the size of it. And for me, if I'm carrying around a digital SLR, I guess I really don't. Doesn't matter how physically large it is. Um, weight can get to you though. But this camera, fully loaded with everything, is not a heavy camera. Um, there we go. Anyway, uh, the Canon 
Elon 7NE or the Canon Elon 7E or the 7, uh, the 7N also. The ones without the E again don't have the eye control. Uh, but uh, yeah, check them out. Really, really neat camera. Uh, good quality. Metering is nice. Uh, I've never gotten you know uh, a bad picture unless it was like clearly my fault. Um, anyway, that's about it. Uh, hope you guys enjoy this. Uh, let me know if you'd like to see more or uh, what else you're looking for. If I can find a camera that you're looking to review, I will review it. Uh, if not, you're more than welcome to send me a camera. I promise I'll send them back uh, if you want me to review it on uh, on here. So. Anyway, that's about it. Uh, Brian from oldcamreview.com and